fuck is happening? Well, it doesn't sound like the call was no big deal. It sounds like it was important to you. Sophie's alive. Did I... Did I actually manage to rewind time? Max, are you okay? It kind of seems like you're on drugs. Huh? Oh. If I had drugs, okay. don't you think I'd share? How about it, Mom? You want to get blasted with your favorite photographer? Honestly, Safia, you act like I was born into this world old. I had my wild years. Sorry, uh, what were we talking about? Somebody mentioned a phone call? Hmm, yes. I was shocked too. I didn't know people still answered their phones. Funny, Mom. And yeah, it wasn't a big deal. It was just from the publisher. Right, your book. The secret book. I'm so proud of my girl. Publishing is always such a difficult endeavor. Thanks, Mom. Is no one going to take our order? It's been like a few minutes. Have you ever had a food service job? Like, ever? I don't think they're ignoring us. They're just understaffed. Give her a minute. Amanda will spot us. You really should hire more hands. No need for standards to drop as soon as the students are gone for the winter. The whole place could use a facelift, to be honest. Come on, Yasmin. You don't have anywhere else to be? I need to ask Sophie about... God, where do I even start? What is that? Oh shit. Dude, your nose. It's fine. Just a nosebleed. Um, back in a sec. Glad we did this. This? This lunch. I do it every weekend. I know. It's nice. I still can't believe Safi is here. Alive. Having lunch with Yasmin as if everything is normal. As if I didn't see her die two days ago. In case this does all go sideways. It was supposed to be a candid. <laughs> You'll never catch me alive. I swear, one day I'll get a candid of Safi. Hey, so... Come on, Mom. I'm supposed to see through your invulnerable mom mask as I age. I like that you took drugs. Sophia, Maxine is here. She's my employee. What? You can have lunch with your employee, but you can't tell her about all the drugs you used to do? Legally? Yes. What crazy system is running this country? Come on, Mom. Okay. Yes. What crazy system is running this country?
gender-neutral bathrooms. We love to see it. Holy shit. I'm... I'm back, aren't I? In... Dead World. This is so... fucking crazy. There's another Amanda. If I can chat with both, then maybe I can figure out what's changed. My gut tells me it's not good news, because... You're here. I'm here. Surprise. You good? I'm okay. You really cheered me up earlier. Happy to lend out my comedic stylings to girls in need. <laughs> Thanks. Are you here for... We already talked in her office. She seems to be doing, you know, bad. God knows. I offered her free coffee for as long as she wants it. We gotta get back to it. Don't forget I'm here for you, okay? Thanks, Amanda. I should cross over and talk to the other Amanda. Okay, so I can cross back and forth. That's good to know. Now I just need to work out where or when here is. Hey, stranger. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. Normal. Hmm. Cool. Convincing. I, uh, shot you a couple texts. I don't know if you saw them. Remind me what we decided on last time we talked? My brain is sort of leaking out of my ears. <laughs> that time of year, huh? Um, a couple nights ago, you asked me if I wanted to hang. Uh, I said yes. Therefore, we decided that we would, in the near future, you know, hang. <laughs> if I asked this Amanda to hang two nights ago, then I can't have gone back in time. Something else is happening. Ringing any bells? Uh, yes, I... Mm. Loud and clear. <laughs> I should get back to work. Take it easy, eh? So if I didn't rewind, this is some kind of alternate reality. But I still talked to Amanda two days ago. So far, everything here seems basically the same, except... <laughs> Safi and Yasmin are probably wondering where I am. I should get back to them. Honestly, Safia, I wish you'd have told me sooner. I was getting around to it. All clear? We don't need to get you a blood transfusion? Oh, I'm golden. Probably just the weather, you know? Oh, did the forecast call for massive nosebleeds? <sighs> Duty calls. Send me the bill for the windshield, please, Safia. Windshield? Another piece of shit pie. Someone... Hold on, it's easier if I just show you. Jesus. Hmm. Fuck, Zafi, is that your car? Charming, right? Found it this morning. You don't think it's some sort of a threat? 
From who? Vegans? Stop eating burgers, or this is about to be you. <laughs> this is gonna sound bananas, but I feel like I've met this cow. You have. It's from right over there. <sighs> Whatever, I gotta meet the tow truck. Wait, hold on. The broken horn. It looks like there was something written on it. Max, you know I adore you, but... Read the room, bud. I'm not really in the mood to stare at photos of my fucked up car all day. Yeah, sorry. It's okay, Rathi. She's gone. Oh, tell me my proposal was shitty, Isabel. That would be a lot. Hold up. Safi's alive in this world. Her car probably didn't get trashed in the other, right? This day and age would be against. What's all this? Is there a live event happening? You like it? We're getting ready for our annual Krampus celebration. Oh, sweet. Another newbie. Hope you come. Maybe there is. This truly fills me with the holiday spirit. Nice to see this place gearing up for Christmas. It's December in Vermont. I told you it can't be inside. That's a safe zone. Taking the bathroom key was like a really good idea. Did you see how many drinks he... Oh, uh, hey. Don't mind us. Hey, do you have the bathroom key? Uh, yeah. Could I grab that from you? We're using it. We'll put it back when we're done. You're using it? Yup. They are definitely up to something with that key. Not that they're gonna talk about it with me standing here. If I could look at that skull up close, I could learn something. Should use my power to look in on them from dead world oofa doofa that's gonna take some getting used to must be that big assassin game all the undergrads play. They're using the bathroom key as bait. Doubt they'll just give that up. Where else could I get a replacement key? Ah. Hey, Amanda. I have kind of a weird... Question. Do you ever have non-weird questions? Occasionally. On a leap year. The whole year or just February 29th? Now who's asking weird questions? <sighs> Alright, hit me then. What's the question? Have you had any skulls go missing lately? 
Wow. Um, that's an extremely specific question. And I can't believe the answer is yes. Our only skull, in fact. I'm dying to know why you ask. Because it somehow ended up in Sophie's windshield. Huh. Uh, wait, what the fuck? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm trying to unravel the mystery. Jesus. A skull? I mean, have they never heard of a brick? When did you notice your cow got rustled? Literally just this morning, before I clocked in. It had to be sometime last night. Did you see anything suspicious? I mean, the Abraxas kids are perpetually suspicious. They took up like six tables last night. Maybe one of them saw something. Hell, maybe one of them stole it. Thanks. I appreciate the info. Anytime, Nancy Drew. I know you. If you send me a gift, it means you won't be coming this year either. Krampus isn't unsettling, it's fun. But honestly, I wanted you to finally meet Safi and Max. You'd love them. Right, but next year for sure. And thank you again for the gift, Tony. I'll be back, babe. Whoa. Am I hearing stuff from that other world? I didn't see Moses in the Snapping Turtle, though. This makes no sense. Hi, Yasmin. Oh, Maxime. You're here. I'd invite you to sit down, but... I understand. Tim, the key's back. Hank, walk. You're welcome, dude. Size does matter. I'm going to have to find a way to get up there. I'm pretty sure I just saw a stepladder. Where was that? I didn't expect to see you here. When we spoke this morning, I wasn't planning on coming. But I couldn't help have it. Safi and I used to have lunch here every week. Terrible food. But it's close. I know I saw a stepladder. My memory's not that bad, so where is it?
Oh, oh, oh. Is that a signature? Ugh, this is so stylized, I can barely read it. Lucas Colmenero. Lucas Colmenero. Oh, shit. Did Lucas throw this through her window? That seems even less likely than the Abraxas kids. Maybe they were in it together? This doesn't make any sense. What is going on? What if it's not just a prank? What if this Safi is in danger too? I just got her back. At least I know where to start. Lucas Colmenero and the Abraxas Society. Find the skull rustler. Save Safi, hopefully. And my best leads are Lucas Colmenero and the Abraxas Society. Vin's the head honcho of Abraxas. I should cross over and see if he's around. Maybe I should do a little digging into Gwyn Hunter too. She was acting pretty odd earlier. I should cross over and start asking questions. Whoever fucked with Safi's car isn't just going to out themselves. Now, if I were a bovine vandal, where would I... There's Ven. If it was Abraxas that stole the cow skull, they might have done it on Vin's orders. And, uh, don't get cute, either. You find it, you bring it right back to me. Well? Go! Find it! Undergrads, <laughs> am I right? Like you were never young. <laughs> young, yes. Dumb, maybe. Insufferable, never. Never is certainly a word. You lose something? Mostly my patience. Okay. Hey, I... Um, yeah, yeah. Cute banter, barely restrained sexual tension, etc. 
I'm busy, Max. Another time. Wow. Okay. What does Vin have them looking for? Let's say I find your missing patients. Then I wouldn't be busy anymore, would I? This will help me get my bearings a little bit. What the? Note to self, avoid this bush. It's like an ex Phil. They have our man and he knows too much. Hey, shh. Huh? Oh. You know, if you want to ask Diamond out, I can introduce you. I'm 70% sure she doesn't bite. How about I put in a I good word see what and those Abraxas tell me what are up missing. To. Good talk. There has to be some way I can hear what they're saying without them catching me. Waiting for someone, Diamond? Mm-hmm. Moses. He asked me to help him carry snacks back to the lab, but I guess he forgot. Isn't that kind of menial for a TA? So my job is menial now? I didn't. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Moses probably just got distracted. Off polishing his new telescope. If it were anyone but him, I'd ask if that was a euphemism. <laughs> Those Abraxas kids are really staring, huh? That one on the left is super into me. I danced with him once, once at a club last week. Him? I mean, I was just looking to dance. If I wanted more, he would not be my first choice. Besides, they're on the clock for Vin now. Probably trying to catch me in unabraxis like behavior. What even qualifies as unabraxis like? Let's see. Sincerity, brokenness, or the hint of brokenness. Oh, and challenging Vin's authority. I think Vin's lost something. It's clearly rattled him. I'll, uh, go ask the goon squad. Good call. I don't think good cop, bad cop is going to be the way to... Oh. You don't think... Hey, so Diamond told me she doesn't feel comfortable with you two staring at her. You tell me what Ven's looking for and I won't tell him you're skeeving on a fellow Abraxas member. Good talk. There has to be some way I can hear what they're saying without them catching me. Vin seems really distracted. Whatever he lost, must be... Vin's... Holy shit! Someone took Vin's phone? And they think it was Diamond. I can use this.
So, if you're wondering why those Abraxas kids are eyeballing you, it's because someone stole Finn's phone. Oh, seriously? <laughs> they think it was me? <laughs> the clownery! Of course they do. Of course. I take it I was right to assume they're full of shit. Always a safe assumption. But if you find out who did it, tell them I owe them a drink. So, are you and Vin... rivals? Enemies? To hear him tell it? Both. And to hear you tell it? Vin is one of those yappy little purse dogs who swears he's a pit. You don't exactly strike me as the typical, uh, Abraxan. In the Vin Lang mold? God, no. But the org itself has potential. If we could just get him away from it. The Ven Lang mold seems pretty resilient, Diamond. Everything does, Max. Until it isn't. Okay. Cool. Thanks, Diamond. And hey, if you talk to Ven again, tell him the only thing I'm taking from him is his crown. So, bad news, I'm not sure who took your phone. Good news, it wasn't Diamond. Holy shit. You figured all that out with, like, zero clues. I just knew who to ask. And how. <laughs> so, about my question. I'm free Tuesday after seven. And I'm partial to a Japanese single malt. That's whiskey? <laughs> yes. But damn, do I have so much to teach you. So your place or mine? Sounds like a profoundly underwhelming evening. Oh, don't knock it till you've tried it. <laughs> so... Someone fucked up Sophie's car. They didn't take anything, but they used a cow skull to do it. Jesus. Max, that's crazy. Is she okay? She's fine. Who would do something like that, though? You mean, who in Abraxas would? It's esoteric enough to feel like the handiwork of your, uh, organization. A cow skull. <laughs> what are we, Leonard Skinner? Come on, this one is way outside our wheelhouse. Anytime some nonsense happens on campus, people trip over themselves accusing Abraxas. Vandalism, destruction of property, that's beneath us, Max. We're performers. certainly seemed performative. And anonymous. What would even be the point? And besides, how do you even get a cow skull through a windshield? Hold on. I didn't say anything about our windshield. Wild, right? Mm. I'd love to keep chatting and freezing my balls off, but I've got a phone to find. And if I need to reach you? 
I'll end up in my office eventually. Ben, what did you do? <sighs> Glad my other suspects had the sense to stay indoors. If some hot chips don't get you an A, I don't know what will. Wise words. I can probably find Gwen in her office. And I think Lucas has a habit of working over by the cafe. Alexa. Max. <sighs> Sorry. Busy, busy. Um, need something? Actually, I... Catherine. I've been waiting for an hour. No, just put Robbie on. Oh, sure. I'm only the boy's father. Who fucking cares, right? How can you say... Whoa. Adds a whole new meaning to nuclear family. If Lucas has it out for Safi, there might be something incriminating in that case. Is that an email? Dated December 5th. That's when Sophie's car was vandalized. I need to get in that briefcase. That's ludicrous. Yes, I was a shitty father in the past, but I never intentionally hurt our son. I would never. Yes, I'm fucking sober, Catherine. It's been two years. What the hell kind of question is that? I'm being hysterical? Me? Wow. That's fucking rich. Put my fucking son on the phone. Jeez. Lucas looks exhausted. Too bad. I've got questions. I understand this crime involved, uh, bio... I understand this crime involved, uh biohazard? One night, as I was closing the turtle, I went to restock the bathroom and I saw that someone had taken a dookie in the sink. And they left some dookie smeared toilet paper on the ground. But who's dookie? And who would go over to the toilet, get toilet paper, and then go shit in the sink? This was premeditated. It lit a fire in my passion for justice, and I became dead set on finding the perpetrator. Going to the Nationals. Hey, Rati. Done any more work on that proposal yet? Robbie, I got a split. Uh-huh. <laughs> I love you too, buddy. Weird. This yep. Lucas seems you to bet. be on great terms with his family. Hey. Bye. Lucas. Max. Can't imagine it would be much fun to assassinate my character without an audience. I wasn't going to stand by while you used Sofi to pump yourself up. Wow. I never had a chance with you, did I? Not with Sofi in your ear. 
she never really mentioned you. I find that hard to believe. That's a lot of books. A lot of my book. Signed copies for the Burlington Book Expo. They invited me to deliver the keynote this year. Have you seen the standee they put up of me? Can't say I have. Huh. I might have to reposition it then. The standards for the expo really declined over the years. <laughs> We've had a lot of mediocre Yikes. visitors. This dude can talk. It's a shame. How am I going to get that key? Years and years and years, people still love the characters. Oh, crap. I forgot. I, what time is it? <laughs> I have to go give something to Moses um, before his class. Good luck with the book expo. Did you get your ticket to the Burlington Book Expo yet? Uh, no. When is it again? Hello. It's probably too late since Lucas Colmanero is giving a talk. I'll live, Alexa. I promise. I can always go next time. Lucas won't be there next time. And you'll probably be knee-deep in law school thoughts. Probably. But picture this. What if Alexa Weiss gave a talk? It's the Book Expo. You have to have a book to, you know, expo. And you will. I know you have a book in you. I might even get my own standee. Hell, we could both get standing. He's not going to be off the phone anytime soon, is he? Instant lock opening powers would be great. In the meantime, I have to... His notes are great. No wonder his classes are always full. You give me a second? Surely another minute and a half isn't going to taint the building with my presence. Just leave everything behind, Professor. You won't need any university materials. Yeah, but I do need my car keys if you want me to leave the campus, don't I? Think. You're not to return to Caledon property before the hearing under penalty of law. I know how this works. You don't need to read me my rights. Just doing my job, Professor. That'll go over great in Nuremberg. This is crazy. This is fucking crazy. I told Yasmin already that none of it's true. She knows it's fucking bullshit. Wow. This is all I just guess some something kind of crazy screwy is going thing. down here, too. But at least. Yeesh. I wonder what that was about. So this Gwen just got escorted out by security, while Dead World Gwen is having hushed phone calls about the police and trying to break into locked bookcases. Time to snoop like I've never snooped before. Whoa, Reggie got an A minus? 
Loretta doesn't seem like the type to be happy with a bee. You reap what you sow, Loretta. Oh, you're other Loretta, aren't you? Oh well. Almost a full cup of coffee. Gwen must have just sat down to drink it. You would never do... What, Gwen? What is this about? Gwen canceled her weekly meetings with Sophie? Why? from boss bitch and the phone is ringing off the hook what the fuck is happening babe babe pick up the phone i'm sure it looks worse than it is just come home okay we'll figure this out um dr hunter this is david from intro to nonfiction um I saw the notice in the lecture hall that your classes are going to be cancelled for the rest of the semester, and I just wanted to check up and see if you're alright. I mean, I'm sure you're fine, but I don't know. We're all kind of worried. Okay, um, bye. Dr. Hunter, by now, I'm sure you've checked your mailbox and the contents enclosed therein. Please understand, this is a courtesy from one working woman to another. I don't want to hear excuses or lies. I'll have to ask you to leave campus until we can get this whole thing sorted out. Good day. Gwen's wife. Claudia, I think. I met her at a faculty event last month. Gwen fucking adores her. Damn, talk about a green thumb. I had decided I would hitchhike across the country. If I still wanted to die when I got to the Pacific, then I could do it peacefully. Hell of an opening line, Gwen. Drink up, buddy. If Sophie was an undergrad, this reading must have been at least, what, four years ago? This thing looks older than Caledon. It's like a bumper sticker evolved into a bookend.
fiction, nonfiction, poetry, plays, a bunch of scenes. Is there anything Gwen doesn't read? Between Gwen and me, I bet we've road tripped most of the country. Caked up Mothman, goaded with the sauce. God, why didn't I trade travel stories with Gwen before all this? These emails are from way back. Like, before Sophie knew she wanted to be a poet. I knew Gwen mentored Sophie, but I didn't realize she was this involved. Dr. Hunter, I appreciate your condolences. You know I do, but I'd prefer if you didn't contact me for a few days. There's a few things I need to get in order. Whatever the case, I'll see you this afternoon. You should get a call from Vin later today. Hey, babe. Just checking in on my favorite workaholic who won't take a single bereavement day. Love you. Take care of yourself, okay? I'll see you tonight. Hi, Professor Hunter. This is Vin Long from Dr. Fyatt's office. I'm just calling to confirm an all-hands staff meeting this afternoon in the second floor lounge in the administration building. Attendance is, unfortunately, mandatory. Gwen, I hope you didn't. I'm not sure if you should. I don't know. Just, I wouldn't blame yourself. So Gwen is asking questions about Sophie's death. Why would Sophie have started acting off on Friday? Something must have happened. That must have been some call with Maria on Friday. Gwen even planned out a time to follow up. I can probably check- Alright Hacker Max, let's go. Search sent to Maria. Uh, enter. Wait, this is Safi's publisher. Gwen got Safi's book cancelled? These emails are from way back. Like, before Sophie knew she wanted to be a poet. I knew Gwen mentored Sophie, but I didn't realize she was this involved. I thought Gwen helped Sophie set this all up in the first place. Why would she... No, this all has to add up. Somehow.
Lucas tends to work over by the cafe. It's an excellent cover, isn't it? Guess that explains why his signature was on the thing. What's the deal with the skull? Ah, you haven't read it, I see. The symbolism is clever, but not lofty. Right. They've got the original skull up in the snapping turtle, you know. Had my book launch party there. Oh, yeah? You can have that copy if you want. It's already signed. If Lucas really is somehow involved, this might come in handy. Huh. I bet Lucas would really hate if something happened to this. Now, what can I use to do some permanent damage? Pretty sure you need a time machine to even find a phone booth now. Damn. I didn't know a phone booth could feel like a personal attack. Cow school had Lucas's name on it. He might know something. Dare I channel my inner Chloe? No. How exactly do I want to get under Lucas's skin? The classics are classics for a reason. Oh my goodness! Who would do a thing like this? Someone should tell Lucas right away. She returns. I take it you've delivered your... something to Moses? My something? Right, my something. Yep, something delivered. So, not to be the bearer of bad news, but... Somebody drew horns in a tail on your book, Expo Standee. Are you serious? I just put that... Come on! Some people just have no respect for other people's property. Come on, stupid marker. Huh. The devil really is in the details. All right, Lucas. Let's see if you're the one who smashed Sophie's windshield. Yeah, not you, Lucas. <laughs> Seriously. Lucas was with his agent last night, not the snapping turtle. He couldn't have vandalized Sophie's car, so who did? No point in looking through Lucas's stuff now. Satisfying though it is. Lucas was an AA? Good for him. 
So this is how the literati spend their free time. Yeah, not you, Lucas. <laughs> Siri, did Lucas go to a gun range? Does Lucas have a gun? That damn cow skull again. Who threw this fucking thing? His agent tells him where to park, but what does Lucas Colmanero do? Park where he wants anyway. Guess this Lucas didn't get a chance to put this up. Sophie? Is Lucas really trying to file a restraining order against Sophie? Does she know about this? I'd better show her. Max? What are you... Lucas, this isn't... You can't tell her. What? You can't send Sophie that photo. Let me explain. Please. Catherine. My ex-wife, she called last night, mad as hell, because Robbie, our son, was repeating back to her things I supposedly told him. But I never... I mean, I could never... The shit Robbie says I told him, it... It, it makes me sick to think about. Maybe he was making it up? Acting out for attention? No. No. Even if Robbie was the type, this shit, I mean... Where would a kid even get ideas like that? He told her, I said he was the reason for the divorce. And somehow that was the least fucked up thing I'm purported to have said. This still doesn't explain the restraining order. I wasn't even there that night, Max. But someone said those things to my son. And you think it was Safi? Listen, Safi once threatened to turn Robbie against me. I know she's capable of it. But Robbie didn't say it was Sophie. He said it was you. I can't explain that part yet. Maybe he didn't say that exactly. I don't know. Catherine will let me talk to him. And none of this has anything to do with what happened to Sophie's car? Something happened to her car? Never mind. Forget it. Look. I know she's your friend. I know you have no reason to believe me over her, but... Just give me a chance to get this shit in order first. Without her interfering. I just want to make sure my boy never has to hear anything like that again. This could all be a lie. One big smear campaign against Safi. But, oh, what if it's not? You're right. I have no reason to believe you over her. You're not as good of a person as you like to pretend, Caulfield. Maybe you and Safi deserve each other. I think I've wrung all I can out of Lucas today. Hope Ven's back at his desk now. I still have questions for that guy.
time to follow up with Vin about that windshield slip. Let's see if I can't make this canary sing. And not even a thank you? Rude. Back to normal. I want to be a bust. How does one become a bust? Hey, you found it. Kudos. Max. Sorry to startle, just that was good luck finding it so fast. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. I... I'm, I'm such an idiot, I just left it on my desk. It's been that kind of day. <laughs> yeah. Did something happen to your phone while it was lost? Huh? Oh, um, no, it's fine. I just can't get it unlocked. Fuck. It's gonna lock if I get it wrong again. Wait, you can't remember your own code? I am, like, extremely hungover. You're lucky I can remember who you are. You seem fine out on the quad. I set the code to the year some old fucking magician scientist died. Slipped my mind. Magician scientist? <laughs> Abraxas shit. I must have thought it was cool at the time. Uh, can you just... I don't know. Um, I'm not at my best right now. Sure. Vin is definitely hiding something. Getting into that cell phone is my best shot at finding out what. Too hungover to remember a passcode? Jeez. Good thing I know another Vin. Fucking shit. Oh. Oh. Max. <laughs> it's just you. Huh? What can I do you for? What do you mean, it's just me? Well, <laughs> there are a few people, for instance, who I might hesitate getting workday slosh in front of. You, Miss Caulfield, are not one of them. Thanks. I'm flattered. Join me? How many of those do you have? Ooh, just don't check the recycling. <laughs> Is this about Safi? <sighs> Safi, Safi, Safi. Everything is about Safi nowadays. This isn't about Safi, Max. This about you and me right come on uh, illicit day drinking with your co-workers is sexy be sexy max <laughs> <laughs> i think i'll pass on the sexiness <laughs> Hey, uh, Ben? Can I ask for something kind of weird? Ooh, I don't do foot stuff. Damn. <laughs> well, there goes my Friday night. <laughs> 
Do you know anything about a dead magician scientist? Jack Parsons, occultist rocket scientist? Oh, maybe. What about him? Nothing, really. I just... They killed him, you know. Just like JFK. Oh. What, um, year did that happen? Hey. Any more questions and I'll have to charge you. <sighs> right. Of course. Jack Parsons. Surely this place is a book on him somewhere. I don't know what they're doing. My grief isn't affecting my brain. No, no. She just can't catch a break, huh? Not even at a time like this. This is nice and all, but there's an actual barista just next door. Aw, poor little guy. What happened to you? Please, don't touch that. It was a gift. I plan on gluing it back together. Jeez. Somebody robbed an airport lounge. Those look like they should be in a file folder somewhere. Um, is that what I think it is? My acting award? Why, yes. Yes, it is. What do they mean? It's called a three-card pull. This one represents my past, a magician. It means I'm exceptionally talented, though you already knew that about me. My present, a nine of wands. Upside down like that, it means I'm exhausted, feeling vulnerable, and, well, guilty as charged. <sighs> And my future, the Wheel of Fortune in Reverse, AKA the Fuck Around and Find Out card. I think I'm about to find out. Foreboding. Fear of the future. It's the spice of life, Max. In my experience, we tend to cause the exact thing we're trying to avoid. <laughs> Where were you last week? Pick a card, any card, or whatever. I want to be a bust. How does one become a bust? I'm going up there with or without you. I have to see it with my own. Okay, encyclopedia. Do you have a certain occultist rocket scientist for me? No Jack Parsons here. Magnetism, cold spots. This is the right code. Ah, success! I'm sorry, Vin. I know this is a brutal misuse of powers, but... I need to know if you had anything to do with this. Food pics? Food pics? Mirror selfie? Mirror selfie? Shirtless mirror selfie? There's a lot of Safi in here. 
I didn't get the impression they were close. Oh my god. Wow, that is really close. Who even were you, Sophie? I really thought I could help. Poke around a little, figure out who has it out for Safi. Bada bing, bada boom. Case solved, right? Why else would my powers come back? Stupid. Now I have more impossible questions than I had to begin with. Lucas filing a restraining order? Vin and Safi sleeping together? Gwen killing Safi's book deal? I have no idea what any of it means. And the worst part is, I can't even talk to you about any of it. I won't be able to save you. Again. Whatever I do, it's going to turn out worse than I could even imagine. Get the fuck off me! I can't breathe! Everyone stay back. Give him some space. He's having a panic attack or something. I'm not I... fucking crazy. I know what I saw up there. All right, an authority figure has arrived. Sort of. Nothing to worry about. Let's give him some space. Can you run and get him some water? You okay, Reggie? <laughs> Am I okay? Fuck. After what I just saw up there. Reggie, up where? The fucking overlook. Yes, I know. I shouldn't have been up there. I'm a fucking idiot. Reggie, what the hell? That's an active crime scene. I know, okay? I know. But you said in your seminar, take photos of things that scare you, so I... God, fuck. That's... touching. If a little misguided. Now, you want to tell me what you saw? I saw myself. Another me. Walking around, working on the puzzle box, the, the one that I gave you earlier. What did this other you want? I wasn't going to fucking talk to him. I fucking ran, Max. Uh, did you tell anyone what you saw? Did you tell... Loretta... Thank you. Can you take Reggie to the infirmary? Sure thing, Miss Caulfield. I'll see you later, yeah? Just make sure he's all right. Thanks, Max. Time to go back up there. I can handle this. He's not just gonna let me by, is he?
Better start heading up to the Overlook. Hope there's a place to cross back over on the way. This looks a lot like Sophie's favorite candy. But hers is called Sour Cat. This goes against Not everything I've heard in horror movies, but I should check for more weird shit. news uh it's big but i can't tell you what it is. why am i not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right oh, now right. you have 24 hours before the world ends what would you do from here i should be able to make it up to the overlook Hello? Hello? This is Sophie? Yes, this is Sophie. Hi, Speaking. Shit! <laughs> I know you. No wonder Reggie had a panic attack. Any more unexplainable things the universe would like to throw at me today? If I tamper with it, the cops will know. Might be another way. Say what you will about his personality, but dude can compose an eloquent threat. Thanks. <coughs> Careful there, Pineapple Express. Get stronger since I was in school? Before I came out, I had this boss, a free thinker, who adopted his worldview wholesale from shouty YouTubers. Yikes. And a raging transphobe to boot. They're brainwashing their kids, blah, blah, blah. And of course, I was afraid if I said something, said anything, he'd figure me out. But when I was alone, I could conjure the perfect soliloquy to shut him up. Make him feel as small as he made me. Isn't there, like, a special word for that? In French, right? L'esprit de l'escalier. The wit of the staircase. I take it you're acquainted? Oh, yeah. That one's a Max Caulfield greatest hit. Point is, 
I've always been able to think of something to say eventually. But what do you say about something like that? Gwen, what is this? Video proof. Allegedly. From Yasmin herself. Trafficking of a controlled substance on campus. Hold on. There's no way Yasmin thinks you were selling drugs. How could she not? That there is security footage of someone who looks like me dealing to students. Someone who looks like you. This is such bullshit. Can't you fight it? Fight it? How? <laughs> that wasn't me, it was my evil twin. <clears throat> no. No. Fuck it. They've already made up their mind. You don't mean that. Thanks for believing in me, Max, but... I'm sick of fighting to prove I deserve to be here. Lucas shouting at his son? Reggie seeing himself here in the other timeline? Is Gwen another victim of doppelganger-itis? Or is she just trying to cover her ass? If I could look at that footage, maybe I could figure it out. Gwen? What are you... What are you doing? Saying goodbye. And... Fuck you! Caledon to Yasmin and to feeling powerless. Gotta take catharsis where you can get it. What the fuck? Gwen, listen, if I can just get a look at this footage, I might be able to help. I didn't ask for your help, Max. Jesus, I didn't even ask for your company. I just wanted to get stoned and watch that thing burn. <sighs> Whatever. Do what you want. It's too cold for this shit. Gwen, wait. I need to ask you something. Why did you kill Safi's book deal? Were you going through my computer? What? No, she... She told me, but not why. Jesus. Now, let's see if I can find what Reggie saw. Or thinks he saw. What would you think of all this, Hannah? Would you still be inspired? Did something used to be here? I can't remember. What the fuck? Oh! Oh, Miss Caulfield, you, uh, out for a stroll, too? Loretta, isn't there somewhere else you could be right now? I'm sure there is, but... Or as exciting as this place, huh? How did you even get past the officer? How did you... Holy shit, what are those? You can see those? Yeah. Do you think this is what Reggie saw? No. 
He said he saw himself, another Reggie. God, that would have messed me up too. I was going to come up here anyway after the suicide tip, but seeing Reggie like that, I don't know, made it feel real. Wait, suicide tip? One of the B cops let it slip. You run a successful podcast for a few years and you find ways to get people to open up. Speaking of opening up, I got a lead. I could cut you in. One second I'm a source, and the next I'm a fellow investigator? <sighs> Sounds like there's strings attached. No, it's not like that. I just... I feel like I kind of owe you after the whole Dr. Hunter thing. Maya Okada, one of Safi's classmates during undergrad. They were friends. Then, Maya died a couple years back. Suicide, apparently. You think it's a pattern? Maybe, yeah. Two promising young writers, both dead, both by their own hand, according to official sources. But Safi didn't kill herself. Like I said, a pattern. Maybe. Explain something to me. Why is this so important to you? Safi was my friend. Because I hate it when things don't make sense. I have to go. got your text. Tried calling, but you didn't pick up. It's cool, Max. Everything's cool. It's not cool, though. It is not. So what's the damage? TLDR version? Pretty sure I'm the number one suspect. What? Why? Besides that being true for most of my life? Well, I did... I did do something. I took Sophie's camera. I found her that night, I saw the camera, and I thought the last picture she took in her life was that selfie of the three of us. And Safi would never want to have that camera, that picture, in the hands of the fucking police. So I brought it back to my office, 
And then I realized, what the fuck am I doing? That's evidence in a murder case. So I just hid it in there. In my office. Moses! I screwed up, Max. And now I don't know what to do. All right. Maintenance tech is on his way to... So unlock your office, Mr. Murphy. Then I'll just have a look around inside. Shit! I've got to get Sophie's camera out of there. Somehow. Unless you have a key card. Miss Caulfield. I don't think we've been introduced, Mr... That's Detective. Detective Vince Alderman with Vermont State Police. I'll be handling your friend Sophia's case from now on. I'm sorry for your loss, by the way. Moses and I already spoke to police. Several times. Max, it's okay. And I'll be speaking to Mr. Murphy quite a bit more today. Miss Caulfield, I do need you to leave the area for the time being. Will you be okay? Mr. Murphy will be fine. I'll come back. Promise. Okay. Now's my chance to get into Moses' office. Where's a place I can shift to the other timeline? Definitely the right call. No one feels like partying so soon after Sophie's death. Maybe I can find a way into Moses' office from this side. Maybe this Moses can help me find the camera. Oh, hey, Max. <laughs> That's annoying. How do you stand it? <laughs> You'd be surprised how quickly you get used to it. I think they call that Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> uh-huh. So, what's up? Actually, I need to ask you kind of a weird question. My favorite kind. Name it. Kind of left field, but if you were going to hide something personal in this lab... Where would you put it? If this is about my dream diary, trust me, you'll never find it. I'd never bring it to campus. You never told me you keep a dream diary. And I never will. Pure conjecture on your part. What is your most prized possession? In here, at least. In here? But probably that mug. My sister made it for me as an early Christmas gift. Oh, that's sweet. Remind me not to get you any mugs for Christmas. Okay. Name something in here you wouldn't want, say, Dr. Fia to find. Like something I keep blocked away? Yes, yes, exactly. That would definitely be my electric kettle. Maintenance has no idea where I hide that fire hazard. As I live and breathe, Moses Murphy, rule breaker. Rule bender, Max, rule bender. Anyway, what's with all the questions? Oh. Moses, you need me to hold something or can I help somehow? Actually, yeah, I need an Allen wrench. On it, um, got one around here? No, I borrowed one from Carla, but I think she took it back. If you can go grab that from her, I'll owe you. 
Okay. I can't go looking around for Carla. I need a faster way to get Moses a wrench. That's still annoying. Yeah, this is why I'm not a physicist. Aw, Maggie's cute. They're all cute, really. The wonders of modern technology have rendered us a turtle with a gun. Worth it. This is pretty impressive. A lot more complicated than I would have thought. No one's been here for days. new. Okay. I need to get that Allen wrench, and I need to be quick. This is my handwriting. Wait, am I the mystery photographer? Is, is this from some other timeline? Uh, what? Bitch, you did not just- Relax. It was a picture of the mugs you two were drinking out of. Good. Ugh, I would rather murder all my students with my bare hands than grade one more final. Oh no. Were you two up all night? Yeah. And I'll be working on these astronomy finals until sundown. What I'd give to be pulling an all-nighter grading papers instead of... all of this. On a good day, that 3D printer would be making all kinds of cool stuff. But today is not a good day over here. Moses was so excited when this came out. I think he bought seven copies. I feel like I understand this now. Maybe I've gotten smarter with age. I bet Moses knows something interesting about every one of these stars. This must be for working on the mural. The maker of this mug sure knows her target audience. Better give this wrench to Moses. This must have been dropped off while Moses was out. Pet Moses covered his bedroom with bees as a kid. So I found this guy named Alan, but he didn't know anything about a wrench. No, Max, not literally Alan. It's... Oh. <laughs> you are a lifesaver, Max. Dad joke aside... I'll never apologize for my dad jokes. And you're welcome. Mural goes here. What's that about? Safi's baby. She had the bright idea that we should draw the Gemini twins up there. Oh, 
Why haven't you? You know Safi. She has like a million little projects half started everywhere. Anyway, I'm sure we'll get to it at some point. We have all the time in the world. So, did you want some tea? Um, yeah, if you don't mind. W with the contraband kettle, right? Just give me just a second. Sure. So the cabinet is a secret hiding spot. Let's hope the other Moses hid the camera in the same place. I should check this cabinet on the other side. Hopefully the camera's in there. Oh my god, stop! All of Moses' friends are nerds, huh? No wonder he gets along with me so well. wasn't here in the other timeline. That can't be a coincidence. Is this where he hit Sophie's camera? Come on! How long does it take to bring a damn key? Okay, the camera might be under a safe. Where can I find this safe? Maggie's cute. They're all cute, really. Safi was going to help put up the ornaments. I can do it for her. If the tea kettle was a fire hazard, I guess a heat lamp is out of the question. For astronomers who hate the outdoors. Love this cozy little donut corner. So this is how you set up the infamous depressed chess. I can see why this character is Moses's I can see why this character is Moses' favorite. He's always looking up. Moses might actually hate snack residue on his fingers more than he hates scientifically inaccurate movies. I thought I'd never hear another dirty joke about this thing. But Safi's alive here. My birthday gift to Moses. I could tell how badly he wanted to say, but the moon doesn't emit its own light. I remember her wearing this earlier that night. I don't remember ever seeing an actual safe in this office. Nope, no camera in here. I don't 
don't know of any other safes in Moses' office. I think I might need his help again. Will it distract you if I talk? Should be fine. What's up? Another strange question. Um, you don't have a safe in here, do you? The locking kind? No. Are there non-locking safes? Well, for a second, I thought you were asking about the star safe. S-A-I-P-H. There's a star called safe. Sure is. It's a part of the Orion constellation. What the? You've been popcorned. <laughs> Engineering wants a prank war. I'm trying not to sink to their level. <laughs> Gonna go clean this out. So Moses hid the camera under a star. And of course, there are stars everywhere. That's still annoying. Well, it's a star. Maybe the other Moses hid the camera around here. Come on, Moses. Where did you hide it? Mural. Moses must have projected some stars to use as a guide. Moses said safe is part of Orion. Maybe Orion was projected on the wall that night. I need to set this up exactly how Moses had it when he was drawing. I think I got it. Fingers crossed I can find safe on that wall. I bet Moses knows something interesting about every one of these stars. This is beautiful. Hmm. It'd be better from another angle. This must be for working on the mural. And they're safe on the lower left. This must have been dropped off while Moses was out. So if this is Orion, then safe is... Boom! Good job finding safe, Max. Why, thank you, Max. Now then. No, no, no! Shit, I can't let him see me in here. I'm so close to getting Safi's camera. If I can just distract him for a few minutes, I think I can grab it. I'll need something noisy. Look at 
Good thing I can keep an eye on Alderman from here. Wouldn't want to show up right in front of him. I can't leave here without Sophie's camera. I need to make sure Alderman won't see me when I shift into that timeline. Here goes. What the hell? And now I need to shift out of here fast. Time to finally get what I came here for in the first place. Hey! Is someone down there? Stupid telescope! Why couldn't Moses have put you together in this timeline? Fuck. That's... That's new. Yes! Holy shit! The telescope and all the parts switched places. Gotta run. Sorry, I... I'll text you. Yo, what? Moses. Miss Caulfield, can I speak with you for a minute? You should go. Please, have a seat. I just wanted you to have a chance to talk to me alone. Because Miss Llewellyn was a close friend of yours. We have a sensitive situation. We know Miss Llewellyn's camera was taken by someone closely linked to her death. Now, I'm pretty certain I know who took it and why. Maybe you've even guessed my thinking. If we're going to make any progress on your friend's case, I 
that's not enough. Therefore, I'm asking you, if you have or come by any information about this person or where they've taken the camera, can I trust you to let me know? Miss Caulfield. Okay, Miss Caulfield. I hope you don't actually have information. Because, you know, withholding it could get you into trouble. Thank you for your concern, Detective. I'll keep that in mind. That's everything. I believe I'm free to go. for your time, Miss Caulfield. Have a good day. Oh. Oh, shit. Moses, wait. Let's download Safi's photos onto your computer, yeah? Or... You go ahead. I need a minute to get my thoughts in order. I'll join you soon. Okay. I picked up so many things today. Best lay it all out and see if it gets me anywhere. Okay, Max. Let's see what we've got. This was meant to be a loud message. But from who? And what does it mean? I still don't understand why Gwen would do this to Sophie. Especially since she helped her get the book deal in the first place. <laughs> Figures there'd be copies all over campus. While I do want to see this so-called incriminating footage of Gwen, it's probably best to wait till Moses leaves to check it. I probably shouldn't leave all this out in the open. Maybe if I step away for a bit, these will all make sense later. I hope Moses is doing all right. I should go see if he's gotten Sophie's camera hooked up yet. Hello? This is your new power, Max Caulfield. Saving lost cats in other dimensions? <laughs> Time to greet our furry friend. 
I hope the cat's okay. Oh, wow. I guess I haven't been home in this world for a couple days. It's like a time capsule of the day Safi died. Weird. out there oh look at you that's a I should have guessed Siamese you being so chatty and all Are you a refugee? Or a fugitive? Mm, no collar, huh? So... What do I call you? How about Miso Soup? Just Miso for short. <laughs> Right. Affection. What was I thinking? <laughs> well, if you're staying, I should probably consider a couple of cat quality of life changes. Do cats like cushions? There, a bed fit for a king. Hey, Miso. Mind if I get a photo? Can you do a big stretch for me? Worth a try. We took in a little liquid courage before the bowling alley shoot. Safi's insistence. Well, mostly Safi's. I loved telling Safi how the lens can totally change your perception of a subject. I loved that she didn't need me to explain why that was powerful. It's been a minute since I exhibited in a gallery gallery, but... Dr. Preston was excited about working together on something next year. This should do the trick. Here, kitty kitty. Chow time. See? We can be friends. Oh, okay. You go ahead and eat whenever you're hungry.
Moses, you okay? Is it weird that I'm low-key nervous about seeing Safi's, you know, final pictures? Far from it. Safi was special to us, to everyone. But I meant, are you okay, okay? No. I, I will be. I think. If there's something I can do, name it. You've been through a lot. We all have. Thanks, Max. But I feel like you've already done plenty. How about we see if Safi's selfie skills are better than mine? <laughs> Somehow I doubt it. Hard to believe that would be the last time we were all together. That's the truth. What a crew we were. Hey, look. She took one more photo. Sneaky girl. What is this? Max, you... You killed her? No! Of course not! So that... that... It's Photoshop! A deep fake, maybe. I don't know. So this is why you went and got the camera? No, Moses. Please. This is me you're talking about. Me. There's a lot I don't know about you. But you know I wouldn't do something like that. I could never! Stay the fuck away from me. <laughs>